Alright, so we fixed the car. We are now in the second stage of this rally. And it's. Uh, we got two more left. So we just have to make up a hundredth of a second to get our first place position. Let's go get that hundredth of a second. And let's add like three seconds on top of that, yeah? Alright, here we go. Shit. Pin. Oh shit, right. Good, good. Good adjustment. Have we seen this place before? I don't remember. I don't remember. Oh shit, shit, shit. Alright, I'm trying to keep it off the wall as much as possible. Right for. That was not a right two. That was gold, golden, supreme. Not as supreme. Premium. Oh shit. Ride the wall, ride the wall. Alright. All right, there we go. Clean stage, clean stage, perfect sector, perfect sector. That's what I like to see. And how much do we got on him? Three fucking seconds. That is what is up. Oh, four seconds on him on the entire rally. Hells yeah. That is what's up, ladies and gentlemen. The best thing a dress man can do is drive sideways, not on a public road. Not on a public road, not in America. I don't know what the rules are over there in England. Uh, not in America. Don't do that. That'll get you in trouble. One, because a lot of people here don't know how, the vast majority of people do not know how to drive a fucking car. And I witness it every day I go to work. Freaking everybody on the canyon road that I drive, they decide that they want to drive it at 15 miles an hour daily. For me, someone who's quite good at driving, 15 is nap worthy. 15 miles an hour is nap worthy. And it's scary. Because, well, that's just not safe. That is not safe at all. You know what is safe? Especially for me, because it keeps me awake a little bit more. Especially when it's like 1.30 in the morning. Attempting to go fucking 60 through 90 degree corners. Keeps you awake. You gotta pay attention when you do that kind of shit. Oh shit. Come on, there we go. Oh, 
Yep. Yep. Okay, we are not making up a lot of time here. Or keeping our lead. That's the problem with when you have a lead, you're forced to predict the pace of the entire rally. Kind of fun, not really. I can't see a thing. Holy shit. I can't see. <laughs> Fuck, a lot of this I can't see shit. Point to the stars. Yep. It's because I keep... Fuck. I keep looking at the goddamn sky. I can't see the fucking road. I think this is a stage I just did, just in reverse. Uh, note. The pace notes, 100% different. Oh shit. Might be the same stage backwards. The notes for this are a hundred percent different. Because the turns are a hundred percent different. They look different. The shadows are on on them and they're not I don't know, I can't I'm fo focused. I just I know from experience a fucking a stage is a hundred percent different going backwards than it is forwards. I gotta focus more. I don't know who you are, but get off of my screen. Shout out to that guy, whoever that was. Okay. Shit. I think that was the last one for that rally, right? Pretty sure. Um, Redonkulous. Redonkulous. All right, eleven seconds. God's good. That is good. I am satisfied with that. So now we're gonna kick some some German guy's ass in front of his home crowd. Pretty sure that's the plan. After an accident, press the rewind effect button. Fuck you. I'm not a pansy. I don't need the rewind button. We're just take our losses and do it over again. I could have totally used a rewind button on that, but that would have just Great. Your adversary in this area will be Aaron Weaver. Aaron Weaver. Volkswagen Polo. Toyota Celica. Yay. Yeah. 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 All right. Yep, that's who I want. I want you, Aaron Weaver, and your popped collar, cocky ass. Look, look at this. In green. Oh, I'm from Germany. I'm gonna pop up my fucking collar. I wonder when he's gonna like it when. Oh, that's right. I get the polo. Yes. Let me see this. Let's see what we can do to this before we decimate this motherfucker. Do everything we can to it, and then we're going to compare the numbers. And then I'll probably drive this anyway, just to see how it drives. Yes, yes, yes! We're not going to worry about any of this. Not yet. Okay, speed. Alright, so this guy's 74. This has a handling of... This is... 
This is an overall better car. It's on average a better car. This is just, it's good acceleration. Fuck it, what's it gonna hurt? Let's beat the German guy with a German car. A stereotypically German car. Because whenever I think Volkswagen, I think of Germany. And then when I continue to think about Volkswagen, I start to think of Porsche. And then I think of the 911 and how it just looks like an elongated beetle. And how the new beetles look like in this shortened. Is your first challenge it's not my star. first challenge. What does it consist of? Simple. You race head to head. Oh, he's got a polo too. In front of their fans to show that oh shit, I didn't tune it. Oh fuck. Alright. Here we go. This is a lighter car though. So it might just do better either way. This is a complicated little course. I didn't keep right. This is a very complicated little course. Oh, fuck. Why are these so hard? You'd think I'd, I'd be good at these. I'm way better at the rally stages. Jump. Up and left. Shit. This thing is a monster when it comes to sliding. I'm kind of glad I didn't fuck with it. Every single time, I'm gonna hit that. Shift. Come on. You know would be cool? I just saw that guy. I think I destroyed that motherfucker. Speed pool. It would be cool to see what my hands are doing while I decimate these fuckers. That might be cool. Because I can't see them, but I'd imagine they're going nuts. Like with the lefts and rights and the e-brakes and the gases and stuff. Anglo Saxton talent. Wonder how easy it would be to platinum this game. Good work. You've earned a place at the top rally contest. Oh, good, good. Need 130 stars. Let's see, what's the next one that we get to do? I already did that. Top rally contest. 90s car. Oh, fuck. Damn it. I, you have no idea how excited I got when it said 90s. Because that's my car. We'll get there. We'll get there. We will get there. Oh, well, my name isn't Jimmy. And it is. Alright. Gotta make it look half decent. 
right? That just, just none of this looks. Okay, how about? Keep it simple. There you go. Let's do this. And let's learn what the top rally contest is. The organizers of the top rally contest have decidedly concentrated on spectacle. But however unusual the adversaries you race against, maybe the only thing that counts is being the first one to cross the finish line. Wait, I have to race a helicopter? What the hell kind of Top Gear challenge is this? I have to race a fucking helicopter? How slow are they going? Because let me tell you what, straight line is a lot faster than what I'm doing. Oh, yawning. Alright, you, you people tell me that that's what you got out of that, right? No matter what the, the obstacle... And I, we, we saw a helicopter in every single one of those shots. You have to come first. Now I don't know about you all. But I just took that as we have to race a fucking helicopter. And I hear the helicopter. In Portugal. Gear ratio. Short. This is an all wheel drive car. Break bias, more towards the rear. All right, fuck. Here we go, here we go. Talk to me. Talk to me, Goose. He's not talking to me. Not a fan of him not talking. Of course I'm second. I just ran up a fucking wall because I can't hear goddamn notes. I can't fuck it. I don't know where I'm going. Is he like following some sort of my road? the hell is going on man I'm pretty sure this car's rear wheel drive oh shit It looked like it was front wheel drive. Or all wheel drive. I don't think it is. It doesn't feel like it. Okay, so I want to do that again. Because I didn't have a man talking to me. So I'm going to count that, that run as my recce run. In the real world of WRC, CSR, all of the rally organizations, you get, depending on the series, one to two recce runs, which a recce run is, uh, you get in your car, you drive the stage, but you drive it at a very slow pace because you're getting your pace notes. So instead of driving at full speed, you're driving it at like 15, 10, 15 miles an hour. Occasionally stopping so you can make sure your notes are correct. Then you go on, finish your notes. That's what a recce lap, lap is, a recce run. You know, in WRC you get two of these. Well, the first one is to get the notes. The second one is to make sure that all the notes are correct. You're still not going at full pace when you're trying to get those, they're making sure they're correct. You're still going at a pretty slow pace. But, oh shit, fuck, I just forgot about that too. Damn it. Whatever. 
survived it. And then, yeah, so the second one is, second run is to make sure that your notes are correct. So technically, rally drivers see you, this cor these corners three times, depending on what series they're in. But they're only driving them at, at speed once. So they really don't know how the car's going to react to the multiple obstacles that the, they would have to run into. So I guess technically they're only seeing it once, but realistically they're seeing it three times by the time they're done with the event. If they're in WRC, if you're in, uh, I think, Rally America, I think they use some kind of like computer program that... Do we want to do a gate one? It's five star. Yeah, fuck it. We'll do it. Ooh, we had a second. Oh, this is the Skoda. Do we want the Skoda? How cool does this look? Yeah. Let's see what we could do to it. But, yeah. So that's what a recce lap is. vital to rallies because well you need nowhere to go so if you all any of you were ever confused about how these guys got their uh their notes that's how it works you depending on the series you run it once or twice at really low speeds and then you run it at, at full speed It always blew my mind when I was a little like how the fuck they got those notes. They were like, I just I always thought like the WRC or CSR CSR stands for the California Rally St Series. That's the one that I would be under. Uh, the Irish Rally Series, any Rally Series, they just handed you like stage, like deemed notes. Ooh, that's a cool little whiny sound. Cool. I hit it. I don't care. I don't like hitting the red ones. I think that's kind of the point. I don't like it. I don't like this. What? Shit. Stupidest thing on the planet. Gonna hit it. Holy shit, I got all the stars and I hit every single one of those red things. Stupidest fucking type game thing on the planet. Instead of adding a bunch more stages, they just they just said We're gonna do this stupid fucking game. These little mini games are kinda dumb. I like I like driving stages. They help me with Sharpening up on callouts and notes and stuff, and they help me with fucking actual drive. Carbon engine kit two, arrow kit two, four, three, two, nineties. All right, so we're gonna end the episode right here. We're gonna see when I get my car at two hundred and ninety. Fucking awesome. 290. We're quite a way away from that. Yeah. So, so that's that. Let's see, do we have a...
a quick one we could do. So we got six minutes left. Let's see. I like Germany. Germany is fun. Does not look like it. We could do that one, but two wheel drive. I don't know how long it is. I beat him. Marco Lincini. Alright, that's going to be it for this episode, I guess. Because I don't think the, any of these are going to be quick. Alright, yep. So, next time we're going to do... Oh, one of these. We just need to get a bunch of stars. Aaron Weaver. What a bitch. <laughs>